2021's most popular commuting and touring bike, the Kathmandu Hybrid from Cube, is back for 2022. People would call our shop back in 2020 begging us to bring this bike in in 2021 and we were able to get a few, but luckily in 2022, Cube is gonna be bringing even more Kathmandu hybrids to fly rides, which means these very exciting bikes are going to be available to you, whether you're looking to tour on it, commute on it, grab groceries, just have something to ride for fun, you can have a Kathmandu hybrid for any of those uses. Today, we're taking a look at the Cube Kathmandu Hybrid 1500 with that easy entry wave frame. But if you're impatient and want to check out all those specs and pricing at flyridesusa.com, click the card right up here or the first link in the description below, and you can get all the information without having to hear me yap on. But for right now, we are going to ride and check out the Cube Kathmandu Hybrid 1500. The big upgrade this year that everybody is talking about is that the Kathmandu hybrids are going to be available with Bosch's new smart system and 750 watt hour. Now, that is not going to be available in the Kathmandu 1. You would have to upgrade to the Kathmandu Hybrid EXC if you wanted to get that 750 watt hour battery and also the Bosch smart system. But if you're just looking for that battery upgrade, there is another model that you can look at too. That is going to be the Cube Kathmandu Hybrid Pro 625. So of course, as the name would imply, this is the 625 watt hour battery. These were so difficult to find last year. We were only able to get a few in, but this year, it is going to be largely the same story. Hey, you guys, it's Scott from the Editing Suite. What I was going to say is that availability is going to be much better this year. But in reality, these bikes are going to be pretty hard to find again this year. There is better availability, but we are expecting most of the pre-orders to be snatched up before they even hit the floors. All three models will be available in the States, but I would try and go test ride as soon as you possibly can because they come in on a rolling basis and you should be able to still pre-order one so that you can grab yourself a Kathmandu Hybrid. But of course today we are digging deep on the Kathmandu Hybrid 1500. So let's go ahead and talk about specs, baby. Let's talk about specs, baby. Starting off, you have got that Bosch Performance CX motor with 85 newton meters of torque and 250 watts. This is a class one motor that is gonna offer you speeds of 20 miles per hour. Of course, you can go above that if you are going downhill or you just got some strong legs and you can push past that 20 mile per hour limit. That's gonna partner on this bike with a 500 watt hour integrated battery. It's a Bosch Power Tube battery, a classic in the e-bike sphere at this point. You've got a 10 speed derailleur on this bike. It is going to be the Shimano Dior on an 11 to 42 tooth cassette in the back. Now this Shimano Dior, I feel like has been a lot better this year. It's really snappy. And that 11 to 42 tooth cassette in the rear is going to offer a ton of climbing capability. So you've already got the power of the Bosch motor and that 11 to 42 tooth cassette means that you can keep it in lower modes if you're looking to save some battery. Shimano hydraulic disc brakes round out that group set. They're going to be on 180 millimeter rotors. Hydraulic disc brakes are kind of a necessity at this point, especially on bikes that you're gonna be doing touring on. You might be carrying some gear or descending big downhills. So you wanna make sure you have those hydraulic disc brakes to stop all that extra weight on a dime. In terms of how much extra weight you can carry, you have got that really nice rack time rack in the back that's going to carry up to 25 kilograms, around 55 pounds. What I love about the Kathmandu hybrid rack setup is that the supports for the rack are welded onto the frame so that your gear still feels secure when you're at that 55 pound weight limit. You've also got integrated lights on the Kathmandu Hybrid 1500, front and rear lights on this. They're a nice fail safe option. I always recommend carrying extra lights, always, 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 but it is always good to have these fail safe lights as well. All of Cube's touring bikes offer a ton of comfort features and the Kathmandu Hybrid 1 is not going to be an exception on that. You've got the Suntour NVX30 coil spring fork out front. That's gonna be 100 millimeters of travel. That'll eat up any bumps in the road and keep you uber comfortable. You've also got an adjustable stem so that you can bring it back towards you if you like sitting upright a little bit more. You get a full suspension feel from the plunger style suspension seat post in the back. And on top of that, you are on Schwalbe Big Ben 2.1 inch wide tires. I would say 1.95 to 2.1 inches wide is my ideal for electric bike touring and commuting. 
So let's talk about the ride experience on the Katmandu Hybrid 1500 and some design features that I think really set these bikes apart. I always think I'm the kind of guy who loves a diamond frame bike over the easy entry bikes until I get on an easy entry bike again and I've got all my camera gear with me or groceries or anything I need for commuting and then I realize, wow, it is really nice not to have to swing your leg over this bike. So I really enjoy having that easy entry frame. Now I will say sometimes I do like having the stability of that top tube. So I would probably recommend going with the trapeze frame because it has a low step and also has that top tube, which allows for a little bit more stability and handling I've always found. It's also really nice to have that adjustable stem. Personally, I keep mine a little bit lower because I like to be able to gain some speed on downhills and flats. So it's nice to you know, turn it into a racing bar essentially if you want to do that. But again, you can also pull it way back towards you if you like that kind of upright sort of European style riding. I, don't, I always associate it with <laughs> European. Bosch is still my favorite motor for commuting and touring. If I'm making a point to go electric bike touring or if I'm commuting on an electric bike, I don't want to have to worry about power or reliability. This motor offers both of those things. I've never had any issues with any Bosch motors I've had, and of course it's going to offer a ton of power. That battery is probably going to get you about 20 to 40 miles pretty easily. You can definitely push it past 40 miles if you're being super conservative with your usage. But what's really nice about the Katmandu Hybrid 1500 is that you are given the option to upgrade to the 625 watt hour battery eventually. All it takes is to move that locking mechanism and then you can fit a 625 watt hour battery in this bike. Now of course you're going to be spending quite a bit of money on a 625 watt hour battery so if you are looking to do that and these bikes are still available I would probably upgrade to that Katmandu Hybrid Pro 625 just because you are getting spec upgrades there and also also, you're already getting the 625 watt hour battery. So I really enjoyed the ride on the Katmandu Hybrid 1500. The only thing I would change about it is probably upgrading to that 625 watt hour battery. Obviously, if you can go for the 750 watt hour battery, check it out, see how it goes. Personally, I feel like that 625 is perfect for what I like to do. The Katmandu Hybrid 1500 is going to be great for riders that want to, you know, stay around town, go to your local stores and restaurants if you've got a short commute to work. Maybe you want to do some bike paths or rails to trails trails, but not go on super long adventures. But I would say the Katmandu Hybrid Pro 625 is a well worthy upgrade. And the great thing about that upgrade is they keep a lot of the design features just with better specs on the Pro 625. So if all you're able to do is test ride a wave frame, say like I did on the Katmandu Hybrid 1500, but I really want that battery upgrade, know that you're just going to be getting better specs and the exact same ride on that Pro 625. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel. Leave a comment below and let me know which Katmandu Hybrid you are looking at or what other touring bikes you're looking at so we can help you compare them. If you want to do more research on touring bikes from Cube, go ahead and watch this video right here. And until next time, enjoy the ride.